Hello people, Tony Diamond Tanay here. Uh, welcome back to the blog. It's been a little bit since I've done one. Uh, I threw my back out uh, about a week or so ago. Uh, man, my back is just you know, giving me so many problems, you know, and I'm trying to trying to work around it, you know. I missed about a week's worth of, worth of cooking and shooting and just living, you know, and I, I hate it when my back goes out. I feel like the whole world's going by and I'm missing stuff, you know, and it really just chaps my ass when that happens you know so I'm not a sit on the sideline kind of guy I like to be right up and right up in front and right in the middle of it and you know and uh, that's to me that's how I live you know I'm just 200 mile an hour all the time and uh, you know most of you guys know that you know so, uh, I'm super excited super uh, shooters shooting season USPSA shooting season starting this Saturday for me uh, weather holding out please you know mother nature you know take care of us uh i'm gonna go down to jonesboro down with the jpps guys you know the jonesboro practical shooters and uh shoot down there uh got some really good friends down there and, and a lot of amazing shooters you know they really take care of me and uh, i really enjoy going down there so uh my debate is though you know i ordered some parts for my mp9 and they came in and uh, I installed them on a gun and everything. Now I'm just kind of debating what to shoot, you know. Uh, in the off season, we talked about shooting production and shooting carry optics. You know, they got the new carry optic division out. And uh, they ran it last year and it did fairly good. So we're going to keep it going. They put it in the rule book. So I invested the money to do that. And, uh, you know, I'm super excited about that, you know. So I got, uh, got this new M&P core. I bought the gun off the off, during the off season, and uh, I got uh, got the red dot about a week ago, and uh, not even a week ago, just a few days ago actually. And a new recoil spring went from a 16 pound recoil spring to an 11 pound one, and then we got a, a RMR red dot sight. So you know, I, you know, it, it's a debate what to do. You know, for me, what, what do I want to? I want to shoot optic, but at the same time. I want to keep my production thing going too. Uh, so that I'll have to debate over the next couple of days. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna practice with both of them and uh, see uh, you know just kind of see where I feel comfortable. I guess you know I really want to try this optic out. You know I think it's gonna help me. Uh, I seem to see things clearer. You know with it with a with a with a sight window. You know and I seem to be picking it up really well. Uh, it's set up to just right above, right on, I mean just right on the edge of the of the front sight. And it's a co-witness feature, so I can see the irons through the red, you know, irons through the sight, the red dot. You know, I can see the target and I can, you know, compare the the optic to the to the iron sight. So, I've got it set up that way. Uh, um, as I go, I may change it up a little bit different, so you know, have, the, have a variable or something in it, you know. For longer shots or something you know but right now it's just pretty much aimed at the uh, front sight you know or just a touch above it uh, most of the research I did uh, says you know that's what most guys are doing with it they're pretty much just using it to magnify the, the front sight so so that's why I've got mine set up so hopefully or maybe I'm not sure which one uh, I might shoot this in Joe's bro this weekend so if not I'll just rip the sight off it put the plate back on it and uh, shoot production. So, so since I've been back on my feet, uh, I've been, you know, I got my butt back in the kitchen. I've been cooking for about three days now and feeling pretty good about that, getting stronger every day. So, uh, for shooting, you know, I've been dry firing every day since, you know, trying to get, you know, trying to get things back in order, you know, and uh, doing a lot of dry firing and then doing a, doing a little bit of airsoft training every day, uh, working with a speed rack or, you know, working with a rack. I built a Texas Star. It doesn't really quite work right yet, but uh, you know it's a work in progress. You know it's all DIY stuff. So, uh, but I'm getting better with the plates. You know, trying to shoot the plates and stuff, and working on my accuracy. So I'm excited to see if I can pull all that off in a match. You know, at full throttle. You know, because I don't know how to slow down. You know, and that's always. I think that's always going to be my issue. I think I need to, uh, I'm still trying to find that balance between accuracy and speed, you know, so, and sometimes 
I know that I shoot a little faster than I aim to. So it's a process, you know, when you're new to the shooting sport or, you know, in any shooting sport, in any sport really that, that you're running 200 mile an hour, you know, you got to find that balance. And I just haven't found that balance yet. So hopefully, hopefully I'm getting better at that. You know, we'll see. So I, I do a lot of dry fire and I do a lot of airsoft training. I go uh, live fire when I can, when uh, I'm financially okay for it. You know, uh, the budget this year is, is a lot bigger than we anticipated it to be. I'm going to shoot roughly 25 matches this year. Uh, we're going to nationals this year uh, for production and carry optics. So, and then, uh, you know, we're going to a few other bigger matches. So, it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty full year. So, I got to really take care of myself and keep my training up, you know, and I feel like I'm doing good at the training. So, and, uh, you know, it's, it, it's funny because once you learn how to do things, it's learning how to be consistent about it, you know, so, uh, I'm pretty fast at some things, so I just have to look at things that I'm fast at, and I just got to build in that consistency where I can do it every time, and reflex action, you know, so, yeah, that's enough about that, so, <laughs> you know. Well, thanks for watching the blog this week, uh, leave some likes and some comments, I really like comments, so, feel free to leave some comments, and I'll see you guys.